Dan the Man here doing another video demo, this time of something different. I know it's been a while since my last video, If for those who actually subscribe to my channel, which I don't really know why, here you go. Uh, the question that's come up is, how do I dump a save file from a Game Boy Advance game using nothing but a Game Boy Advance itself? Now granted, I actually do have a Game Boy Advance, but I'm going to be using the Game Boy Advance mode of the DS, just for the sake of it. Um, there are programs to do this on the DS, including Rudolph's uh, GBA backup tool, and you can also do it with Epinator, E E P N A T O R. Um, but I'm going to be using a different one that runs entirely on the Game Boy Advance. So, up on my computer here, I know you can't see it, but I have Sonic Advance here, which you can see is starting out. Hold on, two times. It's starting out as a new game. Start yada yada. Okay, it's a new game. You get the idea. So, I want to dump it from the cartridge that I have of the game. So, I take cartsave.gba. You can find that from Chisholm's webpage, chism.drunkencoders.com. Go to the send save uh, page. It's at the bottom. And you're going to DLDI patch it. I'm going to use... Uh, DLDI RC just because that's what I like using and I copy it over to my card hey what do you know I already have it oops didn't even know I had it on there alright well so eject that alright give me one second here I gotta find a better pedestal. Alright, so now I gotta find it. I don't know. Here it is. Cart save. It's Game Boy Advance program. It says choose an option read a save or write a save. I'm going to read it, L. Alright, remove card, insert game, press A when ready. Remove the super card, insert Sonic Advance. Press A when ready. I am ready. What do you know? Name, it detects the save type, save size, and it seems to be broken. Crud. There we go. Okay. 512 kilobit flash save, 64 kilobytes. It's dumped it, it saved it in the Game Boy Advance's RAM. So now it says remove game and then reinsert cart. Problem here is that because I have a super card, it tends to reset the DS whenever I reinsert it. And I can't, I don't really know why. It has to do with the power consumption. I'm going to try to do this without resetting it. I've done it before, but it's difficult. Come on. I have to push the right side in first and go really, really slowly. And for some reason, if you do it right, it doesn't reset. Ah! <sighs> Let's try that again. Cart save. Really wish I could use the zoom in feature on this camera. Let's try this again. On other slot 2 devices, it'll usually work fine. It just has to be DLDI cap capable, meaning that you can't you do this with a easy th sorry, easy 5 3 in 1 expansion pack, for example. It has to be able to be DLDI patched, and I think I've got it. Yes. All right, press A to write save. I'm going to save it to my games folder just because games. I am done writing the save file. Okay, press B to exit. 
that does absolutely nothing. Whatever. So I turn it off. Get my card. All right. Get my mouse back here. All right. So now in the games folder, there will be a new save file called sonicadvance.save. Copy that over here to my folder, and I have to rename it. Get match the game name, delete you, rename. Okay, so now when I launch it, we see the progress that I've had ever since I bought the game. Etc. And I cannot play this with one hand, especially with the keyboard, but you get the idea, though. Okay, I, I, I can't do this. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> so, that is how you can dump save files using the Game Boy Advance. If you're using a super card, you're kind of out of luck, unless you can manage to do that. I've only managed to do it on the DS itself, never with my Game Boy Advance. It always resets. Until then, that's about all I've got. Adios.